hello everyone in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use range tabulate fill functions and how to merge two lists so in the previous uh, tutorial we have seen how to create a simple list and how to access each element of that list so in this tutorial we are going to use these three functions to create our list so uh, first we will use the function range so we need to write list range then we have to write the first element let's say we are writing one and then the last element so what it will do uh, it will start from one and it will fill this list by putting elements one two three four five six seven eight nine remember that last element is not included in the list if we are using a range function now uh, in this one our elements starting from one and the step size how it's increasing it it is one so first element is one one will will be added in this element we will get two one will be added in two we will get three so in case if we want to change that step size you need to provide a third parameter so let's say if we are giving it here two so it will start from one and it will go like one three five seven nine so let's print it then it will be more clear so we'll compile our program and we will run it so if you can see it's printing perfectly so this is the use of range function you can specify the starting element you can specify the ending element so this entire list will be populated automatically and you can also specify the step size now let's see the use of tabulate function list tabulate so in tabulate first you have to tell how many elements you are going to store in list so let's say we are going for 10 now here you have to specify the condition so uh, in tabulate here you have to specify the logic how element going to be inserted in this list so logic will be in the form of this one let's say a multiply a so the meaning of this one is that uh, when we use tabulate function our values actually start from 0 so the meaning of 10 this tabulate function uh, this logic this logic will be applied from 0 to 9 values and 0 will so for first element this logic will be applied so we are taking value 0 so 0 multiply 0 it will be 0 so first element of this list will be 0 now the second element 1 1 multiply 1 it will be 1 then 2 2 multiply 2 4 so let's see the output of this program so if you can see what we are getting we are getting a square of every number so if you can see uh, here we have specified the number of elements and for this one scala I start counting from 0 and this logic will be applied on every number so that's why we are getting that part the last uh, function to create a list is fill so in fill you have to write fill again you need to write here how many number of elements you want in your list so let's say we are going for five and here you have to specify what element you are want to store in your list so if we are writing here 12 it means this element will be inserted in this list five times let's see the execution and it will be more clear so if you can see 12 is inserted five times so you can insert any string any number any real number it's up to you and here you have to specify the number of elements you want to store and the finally merging list if we are having two lists so if you can see we are having a two list 
if you want to merge them so how you can do that first list three time colon b so it will merge your two list into a single one so this one will be having element from these two list thank you very much for watching